Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben Bealad and today I'm going to be doing Vocations Cool Shaker Passion Fruit Milkshake IPA. Uh, this is 6.6% and it's in collaboration with Create. And that's all it says. I don't know if it's Create Brewing or Create Co or what. It just says that. It, it just says Create. So I'm assuming that's what they're called. Uh, this is one that I got from... I actually got this from Priestown. Um, I was tempted to buy it along with their new Red Imperial IPA. I've not got around to that. I'll try and get a hold of that at some point. Uh, but this I got from Priestown for a fiver-ish. 4.50, 5.50 in that margin. Um, and it says on the back, Cool Shaker with Passion Fruit, uh, Mamie... Sapo, what the hell is that? Mamie Sapot, Sapot, and Lactose. <laughs> what the hell is that word? Um, anyway, shake things up with this creamy IPA brewed with lactose for a full bodied and milky texture. Passion fruit and Mamie Sapot balance for the sweetness of lactose and giving this brew an um, Exotic finish it says all that right there. I'll, I'll hold on, let me focus. Focus, there we go. Um, yeah, now refocus. Yeah, um, like I say, go from Priest Town. I don't know what that word is. Um, sapote, sapote, sapote. Eh, I don't know. I better speak English myself so. Um, there's no other guff on this can. I would like to say, though, this can art is very nice. Just, it's simple. Just a bunch of leaves. But it's nice. It's, it, it, you don't need, sometimes you don't need a really exotic can art or the, the most finest of detailed can art. You, sometimes you just need a simple can art. And that's what this is. Uh, probably a mango there. A bunch of leaves. It looks nice. Anyway, let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. This is apparently... I'll say this as I'm pouring it. Uh, this was apparently brought back by popular demand. Um, I didn't have it the first time. Obviously, otherwise, I'd have reviewed it the first time. Whenever it came out. Although, if it came out before the channel, then I wouldn't have. Um, so, yeah, they apparently brought this back by popular demand. Um, I've never had it before. I don't even know they did it before. Um, and until I read by popular demand, brought back. Um, I don't know. I, I've never had it before. Um, obviously I've had vocation. I've had about 40 vocation at this point. Uh, on the channel at least. This is just the channel. Um, I don't even know this existed. So, hopefully... It's a good beer. Uh, I'm looking forward to it though. So let's get a smell, shall we? And let's have a look at it first, shall we? And see what we've got. So we have got ourselves a orange juice, tropical juice mix. Um, a nice, while I was talking, head is still sticking around. Um, nice compact white head. Um, no floaters. It looks nice. And I'm not going to lie, I can smell it from there I can smell that um, so let's get a smell shall we and see what we get <sighs> mango so mango passion fruit pineapple citrus hops a lot of hops It smells nice. It smells exotic. It smells nice. Um, let's get a mouthful body and carb, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. Let me try that again. I've got the carbonation. Just let me get the body again. Okay, that is very, very interesting. Carbonation is very light. 
Uh, I'll just say that quickly. The body has this weird feel to it. So, I went into it because uh, it says full body. So I've gone in thinking, right, full body, let's, let's go for it. Um, it's got this weird thing. Um, so, best way to describe it is almost like a bubble, if you will. So the inside of this bubble is quite light, um, quite light bodied. However, the the actual shell of the bubble is is full. is It's a full bodied well body. Um, it's it's quite it's blended of light bodied. It's light light medium at push bodied uh, inside this full bodied experience body I, I don't know how to say it. it's it's weird and i like it and i'm not even got to the taste yet <laughs> this is good honestly if you're drinking along with me and i hope you are take a mouthful and keep it in your mouth for five seconds swill it round You'll know exactly what I mean. It's it's like a bubble, and inside the bubble, it's like light and really upbeat. And then the actual exterior of the bubble, again quotation marks, bubbles, whatever. Uh, the the actual shell of this light body is full bodied, and I don't know how they've done that. It's it's interesting and it's weird, but I like it. It's it's light bodied, but it's also full. It's a full-bodied thing, so it's really both ends of the spectrum. Pardon me. And they've, they've kind of mashed it together and sort of made it both at the same time, which is cool, and I really like that. So, body and carbs out of the way. God, I'm seven minutes into this, and I've only just got body and carb. Let's get a bigger taste, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. It's like drinking a s smoothie, or well, I know it says milkshake IPA, but it's like drinking well a milkshake, but a fruity one. Six point six, <coughs> can't tell, can't tell. Um, so mango, pineapple are the base flavors that they throw out. You can't miss them. They're, they're there. You've got um, citrus, so grapefruits, oranges, lemons, that kind of stuff. You've got passion fruit bit as well. It's, it's all blended into one big flavour, and it's it's really good. I can't get over this body, though. This body is just, it's blowing me away. It might be because of the lack of carbonation. It might be because the carbonation is so light that the body feels so full, but so light at the same time. But anyway, um, body, I've, I've done the body bit. Flavour, like I said, mango, pineapple, blend uh, is, is the base flavour. Then you've got a, a sort of up and down of citrusy flavours, lemons, grapefruits, oranges... At first, so it mango and pineapple goes straight up to the citrus flavors. Then it comes down into mango pineapple again, straight back up like a roller coaster into what did I say? Passion fruit, passion fruit, uh, passion fruit, and then back down into mango pineapple finish. Uh, not bitter, not dry. It's it's a nice, just a nice finish in general. It's this body. I can't get over it. It's, it's brilliant. I don't know what it is. It feels he it feels full, but it's not. Around the cheek, if you get a mouthful around the cheeks, around the like I say, bubble. That bit feels full, so you can feel it in the cheeks, nice and full. But along the tongue, 
along the roof of your mouth, it feels really light and really like juice or like Coke or Pepsi or something. It just feels it's a bit of both, and I'm oh, that's what's getting me. <sighs> Pardon me, sorry. That's what's getting me. It's the fact that it's a, a blend of two bodies, and I I think it's brilliant. Flavors are nice. Don't get me wrong; they are. It's vocation, so I wasn't expecting anything but nice. It's brilliant. It's the way they've done this body. It's brilliant, and I'm already on a third, and I, that was what was it four hundred? Four forty can, and I'm on a third left, trying to figure out this body. It's brilliant. I don't think I can do this justice by trying to describe it to you. I think you actually have to try this. I'm not promoting, I'm not endorsed, I'm not sponsored, whatever. I'm not, I just think you have to try this one for yourself to know what I mean. It's, it's so out there and I like out there beers. If you've watched, I've, I've, they're not here, but I've had plenty of out there beers. Uh, they're all in the front room. The Hexagon Projects, the Freaky Franchise, Polly's, the uh, Spectre Series, the the all out there beers, and I've kept them, and they're all out in the living room. They're all brilliant. Uh, this, this is something, something else. It's brilliant. Fla like I said, flavors are okay. Flavors are nice. Well, say nice. The good, the good flavors. It's not the flavor that gets me to the body. But I can't do it enough justice. That's the problem. I can't say the right things about it without you drinking along. That's that's the only thing. If you drink if you're drinking along with me and you know what I'm talking about brilliant you, you you just get it you can feel it you can taste it brilliant but if you're not drinking if you're just watching to see if it's a good beer or not i can't say if it's a good beer or not body wise flavor wise it's great but body wise i can't say because it's just you have to feel it yourself i think it's brilliant so, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Um, what little I have left, I'm going to go away and finish. So, if you've had Vocation and Crate, Cool Shaker Passion Fruit Milkshake IPA is a mouthful. Um, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it or if you don't. Uh, if you've had, if you if you got that body, what I'm trying to describe, the, the full body but still light. Yeah, that thing. If you try, if if you've got that, <sighs> pardon me. If you got that, please let me know. Um, if you if you've had it though, um, either on tap, can, bottle, whatever, let me know. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave Vocations website down below. Um, like I said though, I got mine from Priest Town in Preston. Uh, so if you're in Preston, it's probably just quicker and easier pick one up. If not. You might just get a few. It's really good. Out of 10, I'm going to give this... Oh, I want to give it a 10, but it's... Oh, it's it's just not there yet. I think a little bit more in the flavour would be brilliant in a 10. So I'm going to... Get... It's not it's not low enough for a 9, though. So it's going to be a 9.5. So it's going to be a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really, really like this. I think a little bit more in the flavour would be perfect, and that would be a 10 out of 10. So, 9.5 out of 10. Very, 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 very good. Um, well done, Vocation and Crate. Um, so, yeah, if you've had it, let me know. If you've not, links down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. I know it's a longer video, especially for just a single beer, but it's... It's definitely good. It's definitely worth drinking along and just getting just the, the experience instead of just watching me and finding out what I think. It's better that it's better to have the the beer with you 
get the experience and then you know um so yeah if you like the video thumbs up thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later bye